All right, y'all, what's up? WrestleMania 32 isn't shaping up too well. There's already a report now Vince McMahon might want to change the main event at WrestleMania. Well, that's not good. But for the crowd reactions Roman Reigns is receiving, it may be a good idea. Of course, it depends on who you ask. Some people within the WWE universe just aren't happy with the feud between Roman Reigns versus Triple H. Their feud has been brutal, personal, given a lot of time, and it involves the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It seems like a no-brainer for WWE to book their match in the main event of WrestleMania. But that runs the risk of Roman Reigns being booed out of Dallas by 100,000 people plus when he's meant to be the hero of the storyline. That may not be a, a risk that Vince McMahon is willing to take. On contraire, Vince McMahon is known to take risk. How do you think he got to where he is? Of course, it wasn't about taking risk. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's the risk of getting shot. You know, some uh, uh, someday. But that's just me. Everybody knows how he got there. He got there by backstabbing and stepping on any and everyone he could to get there. So with that being said, there's a rumor going around that Vince could be changing his mind about WrestleMania's main event and doesn't want Reigns versus the game to close the show. Instead, he may go with Brock Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose, which, mind you, could work. But, of course, the downside to that, look at Ambrose and look at Brock Lesnar. Huge size difference. That street fight may be shorter than we want than, than we want to know. But at the same time, if reigns wins, if reigns wins the title and his, and is booed unmercifully, that's either way is still a disaster. That means. People are going to think twice about buying next year's, next year's WrestleMania. Network subscribers may cancel their subscriptions after that. So all in all, WrestleMania 32 is not shaping up good at all. It's just a bad, a bad time to be a wrestling fan. And of course, it's Vince's fault. I mean, it's his company, yes. But their creative direction is not what it used to be. Of course, they don't have the material to work with anymore like they had in the 90s and 80s. The, you have wrestlers, yes, but you have no one that fans are willing to invest in. Half of your wrestlers are booed, not just the heels, but also the, the baby faces. And the ones who are cheered are leaving when their contracts were up, which is, for them, is smart. Dolph Ziggler, you know, he's got the shaft. Zack Ryder has all been but irrelevant since I think day one, he's down in NXT, but NXT is supposedly uh, developmental. You have Samoa Joe in NXT. I don't, I don't know why, the, I don't know why he's not on TV because he's not, he's not a developmental. He's a veteran. You know, you might have heard of TNA wrestling, but WrestleMania, um, I, I got a really bad feeling. Even though it's a bad feeling, it's actually funny. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this disaster. So I'm going to sit back in my room and I'm, I'm going to laugh. I just resubscribed to the network myself just to see WrestleMania. And now I hear from another YWC colleague of mine, it's going to be seven hours. Wow, that's seven hours of fun, fun, fun. Well, I'll have my snacks and I'll probably have, uh, you know, other forms of entertainment to keep you, keep you distracted from falling asleep. But hey, it's WrestleMania season. You know, who knows? Other than flying unicorns, which we'll see from the new day out here, they're going to be flying around on unicorns. <clears throat> well, that's that's enough right there to give you a big feeling, a big lump, uh, a lump in your stomach. But all in all, you know, leave your thoughts uh, and comments, like, share, and subscribe. WrestleMania 32, Vince, Reigns, Triple Bitch, I wish you luck. You're going to need it. If you want to gain more subscribers for the next WrestleMania, peace.